Hello friends, I am expecting you to start preparation for your NEET examination and for that purpose you might be coming across so many issues in the subject of biology and for that purpose I have started my own YouTube channel that is Fact in Biology. Now this Fact in Biology will definitely help you to understand the concepts thoroughly and in detail so that it become easier for you to prepare for the examination. Friends, myself Dr. Anand Joshi with contact number 82750-19621. Friends, if you see my channel and view the videos, might be helpful for you for the preparation of your national level examination. I will request you to subscribe, like and share my videos. Thank you. In the context, today we are going to see a very important chapter that has been newly introduced in your syllabus and it is titled Reproduction in Lower and Higher Plants. Friends, it is going to be a tremendously important chapter and it is a vast chapter because it encompasses entire plant kingdom for reproduction. It includes the cryptogams, the lower plants as well as the phanerogams or angiosperm, the higher plants. First part of this chapter, it is going to deal with the lower plants and then we'll see the details of the angiospermic reproduction. But before that, I would like to start with the actual definition of reproduction. The process by which organisms give rise to young ones, which are exact copies of themselves, is called as reproduction. Now this is the most perpetuated definition, most acceptable definition. I will repeat this. The process by which organism gives rise to young ones, which are exact copies of themselves, is called as reproduction. Friends, reproduction play important role in the organic evolution as it help in the maintaining continuation of race, species as well as life. If we see the organic evolution, all the organism starting from amoeba up to the highly developed mammals, every group has adopted some sort of mechanism for reproduction. But these mechanisms of reproduction generally fall into two categories. The first one asexual reproduction and the second one sexual reproduction. First we will see asexual reproduction and then we will proceed on to the sexual reproduction in detail. As far as asexual reproduction is concerned, it does not involve formation and fusion of reproductive cells, sex cells or gametes. Friends, mind it well that in asexual reproduction, formation and fusion of reproductive cells, sex cells or gamete that are the features of sexual reproduction. It is not required here. It is not practiced here. And all the progeny which are produced by asexual reproduction, they are genetically identical. And as they are genetically identical, many a time they are referred as the clones. And one more important thing for asexual reproduction is that it is a uniparental method. Mind it well, there is no male or female parent. Only one parent is there. It is neither male or nor female, but it is performing the role of parent and the progeny will be produced from it. Actually, this asexual reproduction, it may occur by different methods. Some of them we are going to see in details. Starting with the first one, it is called as fragmentation. Friends, Many a time multicellular parent bodies that may break up into the fragments either accidentally or purposefully and these pieces they are going to give rise to the daughter individuals. You might have seen the spirogyra. Now spirogyra is a filamentous algae and this filamentous algae it might be accidentally or it may be purposefully broken down in the middle giving rise to two pieces two fragments and these two pieces, these two fragments may develop into independent spirogyra and continue the process of evolution. That is the first method called as fragmentation. The second method is that it is called as budding. Now budding is in this method, a parent individual, it may give rise to lateral outgrowth from the in the form of bud from the outer surface of the body. Now these birds at maturity, they separate from their parent and lead to independent individual life, giving rise to new individuals. Generally, budding, uh, budding is practiced in favorable conditions of environment or particularly when the food or environmental conditions are favorable, they are amply available in that condition, it is practiced. And most common example of budding, it is in the yeast. Here in the diagram, you can see a parent bird is there. Now this parent cell, it may give rise to 
the first bud laterally outgrown from the outer surface then it will complete develop into a bud now this bud it may continue to give rise to the secondary buds also so budding it is practiced in unicellular fungi that is yeast the third method is that it is said to be the spore formation now in some of the lower plants particularly in the cryptogams asexual reproduction is occurring by the formation of non sexual reproductive cells called as spores mind it well non sexual reproductive cells are referred as spores particularly in case of clamidomonas asexual reproduction is practiced by using zoospore and these zoospore are motile flagellated they are capable of movement and that's why they are said to be the zoospore here zoo stand for animal that is motile structures or motile organisms and spore these are the non reproductive sorry non sexual reproductive cells under favorable condition these clamidomonas they develop uh, as in the form of zoospores and that formation of zoospore it occur in the special uh, specialized structure that is called as zoosporangium then the fourth method is that it is called as binary fission friends this binary fission is actual asexual reproduction by separation of individual parent body into two new individuals in binary fission parent cell or organism it undergoes karyokinesis that is the first part nuclear division and then it is followed by cytokinesis that is cytoplasmic division here you can see the amoeba this is a parent cell and within the single cell within the parent cell the nuclear division is completed now this nuclear division it will give rise to two nuclei now these are called as daughter nuclei now these daughter nuclei when they are fully formed the cytoplasm get extended the plasma membrane get extended and then it is cut into the middle giving rise to the two individuals and we can say two daughter amoebae can be produced additionally it is also practiced in organisms like paramecium the fifth method is that it is called as conidia formation here conidia it is a latin term that stand for dust or powder because the spores which are produced in this method they are so small that they can be compared to the dust or they can be powdery form asexual reproduction that occurs in ascomycetes a group of fungi by formation of specialized unicellular structure and these unicellular structures are called as conidia now conidia are produced on specialized stalk of the parent body and these specialized stalks are called as conidiophores a conidia is also referred as asexual clamidospore or it may be referred as clamidoconidium or many time it is referred as mitospore as they are produced by the process of mitosis equational division mostly conidia formation it is observed in the fungus or ascomycetes like penicillium then the sixth method is that it is called as formation of gemmule gemmule formation a sexually produced mass of cells a group of cell capable of developing into an adult are referred as gemmules now these are many a time as they are in the form of groups they are called as swarm spores swarming means grouping together now gemmules always develop on the internal body surface of the parent individual mind it well budding it occurs on the external surface and gemmul formation it occur on the inner surface of the body and many of the protist bacteria and fungi they have practiced this formation of gemmul and that is and in the form of we can say a specialized group of cells and within that group of cells there are archaeocytes now these archaeocytes they are converting themselves into the capable potential reproductive cell in the favorable condition they may develop into the daughter individuals friends these are the methods for asexual reproduction in the lower plants myself anand joshi my contact number i have given you for contacting any sort of information in biology and then if you see this channel if you observe this video helpful or beneficial you can subscribe like and share my channel thank you very much